Welcome back to the Injured Arm Challenge. We're in the abandoned prepper cache. And let's do some searching. What's going on here? There's things in here and it was locked. Uh, what's going on here? Let's just drop all this to cure all the birch saplings. Uh, right, so, so yeah, so that locker should not have become locked again. Now that, <laughs> uh, yeah, don't need to bring all the matches is going to be coming back here because at uh, the next location to visit is the cave that's next door uh, or close by and uh, I want to um, uh, 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 go over there and then come back come back to the prepper cache so I want to uh, only bring what's necessary because we're going to be uh, I do plan on coming back here on uh, before moving on. So let's see, what have we got to um, put away? Don't need all the coffees. Uh, probably don't need all of the cattails. Torches, actually. Uh, depending on the day, I might actually uh, light a, um, a fire and uh, use the torches to search the caves instead of using the uh, storm lantern. Uh, might need the pry bar. I want to offload as much weight as. Um, because there, there might be some coal to bring back. Uh, yeah, don't need that many. Because I might want to do some repairs over there, but... Yeah. Why? I've already searched all of this, and it's empty. And, and all of a sudden, it's become locked. I don't, I don't understand. Um, book. Uh, yeah. Right, so uh, I think it's warmed up. Uh, time of day, yeah. Um, let's just uh, use up a bit of time just to warm up a little bit in here. Yeah, that'll do it. It's warmed up, ready to go. The weight is fine. Don't want to drop us some water in here. Uh, yes, I want to drop us some water. Most likely be making a fire in the cave over there and uh, should be um, making some water. So, did I miss anything here? Some cedar. I'll be coming back here, so don't need to, don't want to. Uh, Grab anything yet? Uh, I was thinking of uh, chopping some of the limbs, but uh, the cedar or fir limbs that's sitting lying around like that. 
But no. Um, I would. Oh, that's a wolf right there. Um, I want to go here, but he, he's probably gonna. Yeah, he will. Damn. Uh, maybe if I uh, give him enough time to wander further away from where I want to go. Two wolves. I want to go over that way. So they're pretty far away that it's probably not going to be a problem for me. Yeah, I want to go there. I want to make sure that they can't see me. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're far enough away that uh, they're not going to be a problem for me. Even if they did see me when I'm up here, um, I'm at a, at a high enough elevation that it makes it difficult for them to get to me. So, since there's a cave in between me and the walls right now, uh, since there's a hill between me and the walls right now, it's uh, pretty safe. Provided there's no wolves. <laughs> Maybe there's a third wolf. <laughs> Rarely ever see three wolves, except in the uh, mountain town and uh, coastal highway. But uh, very rarely see three wolves around these parts. Yes, the rabbit there. Probably should have uh, made it a rabbit trap, but uh, yeah, not planning on sticking around that long. Actually, it, it sort of depends on whether I find a, a uh, deer carcass inside. Finding a deer carcass inside would, uh, would make it uh, worthwhile to uh, uh, make a fire. If not, then um, yeah, there's no reason to stick around as long that long. Backpack. Empty. Right about. Oops. Empty. More feather. Uh, container. Empty. Not allowed to use the rocks to throw at the rabbits. Oh. Yeah, got to get inside the cave now. I'm going to warm up, and because uh, it's a nice clear day right now, good opportunity to make a fire. So, depending on the time of day, it's the middle of the day, there's enough time to do a search of the cave before trying to, um, uh, do I need to drop anything? No. Oh yeah, I was going to, um, light a torch, wasn't I? Uh, right, um, instead of lighting a torch, I'll use a storm Latin, and uh, if I see a uh, deer carcass, then I'll, I'll switch to uh, using the magnifying glass and, to and using torches.
so the whole point right now is to do a thorough search of this cave system hopefully we'll be able to find some coal speaking of coal there's some coal well my one piece of coal is better than no piece of coal. Sticks. Mmm, another piece of coal. <laughs> right, fire material. Might have to drop some gear. Corpse. Another storm lantern, lantern fuel. No need to be shy with the uh, lantern uh, now. Got plenty of uh, uh, backup uh, lantern fuel and another storm lantern. That coal was sort of like hiding. Um, so, I have been here. Just making sure that I've searched the whole K system. Because I was looking for a deer carcass. Which there isn't one. Yeah, I think I've searched it all. to uh, light a fire over here. I'm going to head back to the prepper cache and uh, yeah just too heavy right now. Probably want to drop off. Yeah um, the sticks. Yes, I want to drop off the sticks. 6.6 .6 kilos worth. Was there a container? There was a backpack. There was a backpack. Um, let's have a look at the storm lantern. Yeah, uh, I think I'll go back and drop off the uh, sticks. In a container. No, no. There's a backpack out, outside. I'll drop off the sticks in the backpack outside. Uh, do I risk uh, traveling heavy heading back to the prepper cache? I think I will. I don't usually like doing this, but it's not that far. The distance from point A to point B is not that far. The chance of running into wolves are not as good as uh, some other locations. I'm going to try and get there overweight 
this is a good time to actually use the magnifying glass too. So if I do run to a wolf, I could use the magnifying glass to start a uh, fire. All the more reason to travel heavy. That's a wolf there. So he's relatively far away, and I'm on a hill, which makes it difficult for him to um, get to me. I'm on higher elevation. I'm on high elevation, and it makes it difficult for the walls to get to me, even if they do see me. Right, here we are back. I'll drop off the sticks, because they're the heaviest. Oh yeah, some of the fire material. And I'll make a fire out here later, not just now. Um, yeah, let's just drop off, uh, just unload the weight. And head inside to warm up. Shame to... Uh, Head inside to um, drop off some gear, I mean, and warm up. There's still time that uh, you can still use the magnifying glass um, while using up some time in here. Let's just uh, drop off some items. Don't need to carry the storm lantern. Drop off some of this unnecessary weight. Oh yes. Might as well do some crafting. That'll help warm up. You've got to be careful not to use up too much time, otherwise we won't be able to use the magnifying glass outside. Yeah, that'll do. I'll try not to uh, chance using up too much time. Uh, drop off some of the water. No, no, not doing it all. Oh no, it's too cloudy now. Can't use the magnifying glass. Yeah, it's too cloudy. Ay, yeah, yeah. That was the chance. That was the chance. <laughs> it was the chance. I was uh, hoping to be able to do that, but you won't allow it. Oh well. I'll have to, um... I'll use up the time to, uh... Do this. Uh, grab some more wood. Never felt so cold in my life. And instead of making a fire, I'm going to see if tomorrow provides an opportunity to use the magnifying glass. So um, it's ne near the end of the day. Uh, what to do? I. Uh, I think I want to stay one more day to wait for a good tra time to tra uh, travel further because it's near the end of the day right now. Um, I think best thing to do is to sleep here, which means um, I'm going to need to uh, spend some time uh, doing some things. Uh, what should I do? Uh, repair some clothing first before um, there's no more daylight? Repair. Repair. Should I 
I repair this one just no not yet I'm gonna save the sewing kits for um, in the situation where I want to craft some clothing and uh, leave the fish, fishing tackle because I can create more fishing tackle later definitely want to save the uh, um, sewing kits for crafting clothing though uh, how much daylight left? Um, very little. Probably not enough to either study or... Uh, um, yeah, not enough daylight for uh, research. Because... Let's have a look at the research material. Research. Three more hours of research left on this uh, sewing. Let's just uh, use up the time to craft up these things and break down some crates as well I'll come to think of it probably could use some uh, scrap metal so have it ah oh, gonna need light to um, yeah when it, when it runs out of light you can't uh, keep uh, uh, cutting up these uh, metal shells break down this uh, wooden crate okay um, that should do it for the time being I think it's high time to sleep um, actually by the time you wake up it's it's still not going to be daylight and I want it to be daylight so there would be a chance of using the magnifying glass not much of a chance in the morning, but uh, still a chance of using the magnifying glass to make a fire. Um, I'm not desperate for making a fire, but making a fire would be much more better to stock up some um, uh, water here and uh, to do some a spot of uh, cooking as well, to stock up some supplies here. Uh, I think I'm going to chance using the uh, really um, beat up food and risk uh, food poisoning and um, because the condition is not too bad right now so it's worth chancing using up those um, yeah, item, food items that could provide um, could be um, a chance of food poisoning we need to use up some more time, let's break the crate Okay, where's the bed? Might as well just break up the cardboard box. Yep, and uh, right, I can't see. I need to storm lantern. Ah, so the bed was over here. Right. Let's just uh, do a little drinking first and uh, see what to eat. eat this. We need how much sleep? Nearly 10 hours, so 700, 700 calories. Uh, this and this, so they're the two worst items. Could add this, so that's 850. 850, that would mean uh, you should be able to um, do some uh, research in the morning. Let's eat. Oh yeah, gotta cook up uh, a reishi, a uh, uh, herbal tea. My stomach. Ah, there you go. Uh, that was the risk of uh, drink up uh, this. Drink up this. No. Let's fill up the hydration with this. Sleep for 10 hours. Now, food poisoning means that you're not going to recover any health. So it should be around... Condition should be around 60-something. Yeah, if it's storming outside, it... 
condition and it doesn't recover because of food poisoning. I was, I was happy to chance that food poisoning. Right, uh, storming outside. I could make a fire with a match outside. Do I want to? I don't need to. I've got some uh, water here. I better prepare for travels. any painkillers here? Yes, I'll leave some painkillers here. If I make it to 100 um, days, I do plan on going to uh, the Tim Wolf Mountain, so I will be coming back here to this location. All the more reason to leave some of these firewood behind. some uh, material behind because I do plan on coming back here if I make it to 100 days. Don't need that much uh, reclaimed wood. <laughs> would have been better if, uh, if I used the magnifying glass, but uh, that's just the way the brakes work. Some days uh, it's a clear day the whole day. Other days, well, like this, when it, get, when it gets uh, foggy, it's probably a good chance of the blizzard coming soon. Probably. And it is Pleasant Valley. Pleasant Valley is one of those places where you're going to get a lot of blizzards. Venison? Did, did I have any venison? I, I, I must have left... No, no, I've already eaten the venison. I thought I had some venison, but yeah, I've already eaten it. Still minus eight. Not minus eight anymore. That's better. Let's melt ten liters. Do 
I want to fill up on some calories while doing this? No. Definitely going to want to cook up some uh, herbal tea. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Let's just uh, hydrate. Do a spot of cooking. Because there's no more herbal teas left. First thing on the list to cook. There's enough coffees, so there's no need to cook up any coffee. Uh, what else? What about torches? Do I want to take? I'll take one. And it's a 29, I think. Either 29 or 22, so no need to take any more torches. Uh, what about the firewood? Um, I think I'll take some of this coal. No, no, I won't take it that many. Yeah. Um, just in case I go to Timberwolf Mountain, I want to take the coal to Timberwolf Mountain. Yeah. So I'll leave the, uh, most of the coal here. Up. Basically, I'm just waiting for this uh, blizzard to pass so I can continue traveling. And the blizzard's using it most of the day. There's not much uh, time left in the day to do some travels. So as soon as the blizzard uh, finishes, I'll head out. All this cooking is just to um, fill in time while I'm waiting for the uh, blizzard to pass. And it's been blizzarding uh, most of the day already. I think it was uh, in the morning when it started. Okay, the blizzard's uh, died down. I think this time I will uh, cook up a reishi, reishi tea and then drink it before heading out. Uh, just got to make sure the, the uh, inventory is not too heavy with the water. Um, yeah, grab one more later. Yeah, um, don't want to leave too much water behind because I want to drop off some water in other locations. Yeah, um, I do want to use up a bit more time because it seems to be rather windy outside, and I want to um, be able to travel with uh, a torch. And uh, if it's too windy, it's just not possible to travel with a torch. Uh, let's see, two of those, three of those. In the case, let's leave some of this uh, behind. Um. So. The blizzard has died down, which makes it possible to travel with a torch, I think. But it is rather windy, so I'll give it a bit more time to allow the wind to die down. Yeah, that's what I was listening for. It's not as windy right now. If you, hear, if you listen to it, the wind is not as strong as it was before. So 
I'll take this opportunity to drink up a hot reishi tea. Check to see if uh, I've got enough water in the inventory. I think I'll take one more litre of water. Because I've been cooking up the wa with the water. Take some torches. And head out. Oh, it's still too windy. Oh well, it was, it was a. There's a wolf right there. <laughs> I'll head uh, this way. Well, at least uh, I'm downwind from the wolf. Is that a wolf? That's a deer. Just verifying that it is a deer. Can't really see anything right now. Right, so I'm heading to uh, search the rest of this uh, region. I think I'll crouch down just to be sure that uh, I don't get jumped on by a wolf as soon as I get to the hill, uh, the top of the hill. I'm crouched right now. It looks clear. Uh, just speed things up a little. Since uh, a safe location is fairly close by. Well, the headwind is better than the tailwind in this situation because um, if there's a wolf up ahead, he won't smell me. Even though I'm not carrying any venison right now. Or any meat. So, th there are pros and cons to the wind. Headwind and tailwind. Headwind is, uh, you won't have um, will the wild animals be able to smell you um, if they're in front of you, which is an advantage uh, when you want to get to your destination and um, the wild animal can't get advanced, um, you know, one step ahead of you you're one step ahead of them because um, they, they can't smell you. What, you know, this one little tiny advantage sometimes could make a difference between um, finishing, you know, the wolf getting you or the wolf not getting you. And headwind is one of those little advantages. I'm not overweight, which is really good. Oh, the wolf right in front of me. Oh no. I need to get to a windshielded location. Actually, no, I'll try and go around this hill. Because he still has the, a fair bit of a distance to travel to get to me. I'm going to go around. Lead him around this way. And enter 
in a safe location. So the hell could be him. That was uh, the wolf that was uh, after me. Oh, there's a deer over here. Uh, it's a little too windy to be uh, harvesting it. I'll give it a miss for today. Tomorrow's a different story. So that wolf is probably over, way over there now. And the wind has shifted. So that uh, he can't smell me <laughs> again. Again, he can't smell me. But he could come back this way, which is the worry. Well, since he's not here, I'm going to use this opportunity to uh, gather up all these sticks, which won't be available when, when he comes back. Too much stuff to carry. Well, I'm pretty close to the uh, a safe location. Grab this and get inside. Now that I'm inside, the wolf that was tracking me can no longer do that. Uh, do I need to uh, drop any to anything to cure? No. Tomato soup. Empty fridge. Empty freezer. First aid kit. Nothing. Guns. Yeah, won't be able to use that sort of thing in this sort of playthrough. Metal container. Nothing. Dryer. Socks. Empty. Okay, nothing much to be had. Nothing much at all. So, I want to warm up a little bit before uh, doing some more searching of the local area, provided the wolf doesn't come back to stop me. Uh, right, let's just offload some of this weight. Break that down since it's such a low condition. The socks. Do I want to leave some water behind? I think I will. This is a handy location to leave some water behind. Uh, yeah, I'll leave uh, a little fire material. Time of day, yeah, um, not really tired enough, just want to warm up, let's break down some crates to warm up, that, that, that did the job, let's drop some weight and uh, hopefully do some searching around the local area. down because it's not there's, there's about halfway on the stamina to crouch down halfway on the stamina it's not really tired enough to uh, get a full night's sleep there's a wolf right there <laughs> he came back um, let's see if I can search this before he uh, get, becomes aware of me yeah I'm crouched down so he can't really I want to search over there because there's probably something there but not with the wolf. He might go away in the morning. He might. I'm hoping he does. Yeah, I'm not going to do any more searching with him around. And at that point, I'm going to end the episode here. And hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye.